and they said they were talking about Ken Thompson. I tracked him down. I found out who he was very quickly. Yeah. He was 20 pounds lighter, but he was old Sam. <laughs> and we quickly became great friends and great colleagues. Wonderful. Hi. Very, very excited for the win tonight. deeply humbled for the people of Brooklyn have taken a man who started out in life with the odds stacked against him as a child and made that man the next district attorney of Brooklyn. indebted to the people of Brooklyn for doing so. When I was a little boy running around the public housing projects of Harlem, very few people thought that I would amount to anything in life. But I had a mother upstairs on her knees. Never wavered in her duty to serve, in her duty to protect, in her duty to uphold the law. Because of my mother, I will always be grateful to God that he gave me such an extraordinary life. And he gave me the principles of fairness, justice, and equality as a little boy. Now, I want to thank each and every one of you who voted for me. had a very important choice to make, yes. and that is whether the great people of Brooklyn would give in to false accusations, fear-mongering, and race-baiting, or stand up for Brooklyn's bright future. Today, that question has been answered resoundingly, from Coney Island to Crown Heights, from Canarsie to Clinton Hill from Brownsville yes. to yes. bedford Stuyvesant. Right. As part of Brooklyn's great future, we must ensure that no man or woman ever is again convicted wrongfully. That's right. That's right. We must also make sure that we free all the people who are wrongfully convicted. Yes. Because the ultimate duty of a prosecutor is not to convict people. The ultimate duty of a prosecutor is to do justice. All right. yes. it is not justice when innocent people go to prison yes. for murders that they did not commit. All right. yes. And in the memory of police officer Peter Vygorski, of Detective James Nimmerin, and Detective Rodney Andrews, yes. who gave their lives so valiantly to protect us and keep us safe, we must do all we can to get these illegal guns off the street. That's right. A beautiful one-year-old antique Hennis. A beautiful one-year-old baby who was shot and killed right here in Brooklyn while being pushed in his stroller yeah. Yeah. before he even had a chance to live. We must do all we can to end the senseless gun violence that is literally killing our children. But at the same time, we must all do what we can to keep our neighborhood safe. And that means we must end.
disbelief in those snitches. All right. Which allows criminals to continue yes. to pray upon us. All right. Now, I want to say something. People have asked me, why did I run for Brooklyn DA? I ran for Brooklyn DA because I love Brooklyn. And I care about Brooklyn. I ran for Brooklyn DA because I heard about a woman named Shirley Chisholm. Oh, yes. 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 Paved the way for future generations of elected officials of color here in Brooklyn. I was Brooklyn District Attorney because I met a beautiful woman in college named LaShawn. This is my son Kenny. This is my daughter Kennedy. I will always love you all the days of my life. Oh. I also want to thank someone who's been with me every step of the way. And that's my You can do great things with your life. The key is you must work hard. You must believe that you can do it. And you must never give up. I'm an example of that. God bless you all. Why? You're not happy with Han? No, it's uh, nowhere. Everything's home. Glad I'm catching that. No blood. And tell me your name. That's okay, girl. No, tell me where you're from. Barbara. Barbara. Cheers. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, we're going to be committed, so. Who are yeah. you? I'm going to be really strong. You know, we Wait. want to do it. Wait. Yeah, we're going to do the world. Yeah, well, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Voice of Justice, and I've been waiting for this great day for Charles Heinz to lose and have a new district attorney. I've been waiting five years for this to happen. It's a great night, it's a special night, and I'm so glad that in Kings County, we're going to take back the office, and we're going to clean up crime, we're going to protect our children, and we're going to have a district attorney that we all 